doesn't have no offensive line. We saw two guards. We got two top ten picks to tackle. And a second rounder in center. Figure this shit out. Dean, figure it out, bro. My goodness. Like, I... We have a $40 million quarterback on the roster. I shouldn't be doing videos like this. I'm gonna be blunt with you. I'm gonna be blunt with you. Danny, they don't want you here. The Giants was willing to trade their entire draft to get Drake May. That's all Daniel Jones needs to know about where he stands with this organization. They were willing to give away their entire draft and next year's one to get Drake May. The most disappointed team on the planet when Drake May went to the Patriots was Joe Shane and Brian Dable. And guess what? John Mara's in the war room every year. John Mara's in that room with Gettleman, Jerry Reese, Joe Shane. John Mara's in that room. So John Mara knew Joe Shane's on the phone trying to make that trade happen. John Mara's in the background like the whole time. John Mayer even came out and said, listen, we're not actively trying to replace Daniel Jones, but if Joe Shane and Dave will fall in love with a the quarterback, they have my blessing to get rid of assets to go get their guy. Do you think Mahomes <laughs> has that problem? Do you think that Lamar, Joe Burrow, hell, didn't didn't my man Harborough say that J.J. McCarthy was the best quarterback in the draft? You think Justin Herbert was at home sweating about if they were going to draft McCarthy? So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is this. Danny, you on the clock, bro. Let's put up a shut up time. I'm tired of being nice to him. I'm tired of being nice to Danny. Danny need to step up. Danny need to do his damn job. Dude took $40 million from this team. And, and just did nothing. How you run off? Of, how you take the bag and proceed to have the worst six games I've ever seen in my life? See, I don't think y'all understand how pathetic that Giants offense was last year. And to make it even worse, not only was the offense pathetic, but every other quarterback that played for the Giants looked better than Daniel Jones did last year. Do y'all not see what's wrong with that? And I don't give a damn if y'all say I switched up. It is what it is. You know how many friends I done had to go out of my life? You know how many people who I... It is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. At the end of the day, all I'm going to say is this. Drake May was supposed to be a giant. Joe Shane was trying to get the first, second, and third round pick this year and the first round pick next year to get Drake May. If you're willing to move heaven and earth to get a quarterback, you don't like the current quarterback you have. So Joe Shane can talk all this bullshit about Daniel Jones is our guy and we're happy with De DeVito and Drew Locke. You're lying. Actions speak louder than words. And your actions told me that you wanted to replace Daniel Jones. And another thing. Remember when Snyder out there in... Um, Seattle, remember when he came out and he said that uh, we wanted to keep Drew Locke, but the Giants offered him a starting job. The Giants offered Drew Locke the opportunity to compete as a starter, so we couldn't resign him as a backup. Well, there's smoke. So, so let me get this straight. Drew Locke gets promised a chance to compete for the starting job in New York, and then we attempt to trade away half of our damn draft. To get Drake May. The Giants had every quarterback in for a top 30 visit. The Giants flew to multiple pro days at the same time. Joe Shane, you go watch Jake, JJ McCarthy. I'm a, Dable, you go fly out to Washington to watch Penix. 
they were actively speed dating other quarterbacks. If you have a girlfriend and you like your girlfriend and you're loyal to your girlfriend, you're not going on dates with other women? Danny, the divorce is coming, my, my I'm, I'm not even going to use that word. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar, by the way. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Stop calling these white boys niggas. All right, but anyway, so check this out, right? Oh, go to my Fist Vicious channel. I'm breaking down that Kendrick Lamar diss on my, on my new channel. Go to Fist Vicious. I'm breaking it down like nobody else. Go to Fist Vicious. Check out my uh, Kendrick Lamar uh, euphoria diss. But, um... It's put up a shut up time for Danny, man. And I think what I want Giants fans to understand is this. There's nothing Daniel Jones can really do to save his job. Because I think... What y'all have to understand about Daniel Jones is this. If Daniel Jones goes out there and has a productive year and goes to the playoffs, will he take a pay cut? Ask yourself this, right? Giants fans, ask yourself this. What kind of season would Daniel Jones have to have for them to want to keep paying him $40 million? That's the question you got to ask yourself. What kind of season does Daniel Jones have to have for Joe Shane and John Merrick to agree to give him another $40 million in 2025? That's the question. So it's like people who think Daniel Jones is safe because we didn't get a quarterback this season don't think it's going to be like that next year. If Daniel Jones goes out there, throws 20 touchdowns, and we win eight or nine games, he's out of here. The only way Joe, the only way Joe Shane is going to keep Daniel Jones at his current pay rate is if he throws like 30 touchdowns, we win 11 or 12 games, and he shows that he could be the guy. This barely winning shit, this 10 touchdowns a season shit, it ain't going to work. This game manager shit that Daniel Jones done turned into, it ain't going to work. In order for Daniel Jones to remain on the Giants and make 40 something million dollars a year, he gonna have to stunt. If he don't start stunting like 96 Birdman, he up out of here. On this line, you know. So it's like. I gotta see it to believe it at this point. Because I'm tired of Daniel Jones underwhelming. And I'm tired of being, I'm tired of being let down by this kid, man. It's like every year I get excited to see Daniel Jones play. I get excited to see what Daniel Jones is going to do with Kenny Galladay. I get excited to see what he's going to do with Kadarius Toney. I get excited to see what he's going to do with Darren Waller. Every year we get excited about Daniel Jones and he lets us down. So it's like, now you got Malik Neighbors, bro. You finally got a number one receiver, man. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear about no offensive line. I don't want to hear about we don't have a good runner back because Singletary just went to the playoffs with that rookie in Houston. So if he's good enough to go to the playoffs with that rookie in Houston, he should be good enough to go to the playoffs with Daniel Jones. So I don't want to hear about, oh, we lost Saquon Barkley. He don't got no runner back. I don't want to hear he doesn't have no offensive line. We saw two guards. We got two top 10 picks to tackle and a second rounder a center. Figure this shit out. Danny, figure it out, bro. My goodness. Like, I, we have a $40 million quarterback on the roster. I shouldn't be doing videos like this. There's a $40 million quarterback on the roster. I shouldn't be making videos about him figuring it out. What the hell are we talking about? Anyway, man, can y'all please go to my Fist Vicious channel? I need about 250 subscribers to get to 1,000. I'm almost monetized. Please head over there, fellas. All right, head over there. Subscribe me up. Listen to my Kendrick Lamar, Drake Breakdown, whatever. And uh, 
That's it, that's all, man. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, drop an F you in the comments if you rockin' with me, and stay vicious. Dismissed. <laughs>